Hey guys, um, me and Keith have absolutely killed it. It's been freaking cold all week, barely hitting 15 degrees for highs. So we were blessed to have a job indoors doing this flip. We've done almost 1,400 feet of, uh, of this SPC flooring in the past like two and a half days. So we really kicked butt on it. In the meantime, during that same time, Eric and I, in, in the evenings, finished this uh, epoxy counter and it turned out gorgeous. Except, freaking disaster. This freaking spider jumped to his death after we left last night. And I'm really happy he died. I hope it sucked. Um, because now I'm going to have to carve this out. I was done. It was finished. It was all good. And now I have to do surgery. I'm going to have to cut him out and touch up this epoxy. But it's still, by next weekend, I'm going to have this complete video. We're going to clean this whole kitchen up. Everything but the backsplash will be done. Eric killed it, guys. This is gorgeous. I'll get really close up and show you the entire detailed installation of this video. But it's going to be probably next week because me and Eric are headed to World of Concrete next week um, with All Three Pools crew. It's going to be awesome. we got so many things going on on the website on allthreepools.com. And Patrick from our company wanted me to remind you guys we have a new newsletter. And that newsletter is once a week we send you guys out something in the industry. ICF related, pool related, chemical related. It's mostly ICF based content, guys. If you're into ICF, it's a free newsletter. Sign up. Patrick is uh, really passionate about getting all the info out there but um, I'm gonna take you guys through the rest of the house show you all the big progress we made with just me and Keith this week we really killed it Eric did a killer job the spider sucks and I'm glad he's dead so anyway we'll, we'll talk in a bit all right so Eric is uh, gonna perform the surgery the uh, spider ectomy that little butthole uh, has caused us a little bit of problems but the uh, the epoxy is still you know, gooey enough that we're able to kind of carve the stupid spider out and uh, get rid of him. We'll sand that down tomorrow, and uh, we have just enough extra to repair that, and hopefully it'll be uh, pretty much invisible. But things like that happen. On a happier note, I'm going to take you right now to show you the really cool effect we're doing with the SPC on the... Okay, and guys, just, uh, I'll show you the upstairs right now, but on the way upstairs, me and Keith just got done with something we've been experimenting with. So we found a really good deal on SPC flooring, but we didn't really have accessories available to us like uh, sternos and transitions. But I'd been watching some videos and we've got a lot of experience with ACM, you know, architectural composite metal, like Mitsubishi Alpolic, where you route out uh, V-notch and fold things. We just got done using my Leister uh, heat gun and making our own sternos. You come here and check this out, guys. So picture, a normal stair nose with a SPC or some kind of luxury vinyl could cost you 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars each. And we pulled this off with a four dollar piece of SPC and we're gonna go all the way up the stairs tomorrow, but that looks so killer. And I mean, it's one of those things when you're flipping, you gotta save money, you know? Um, and these are gonna look, and they are, I mean, look at that. That profile is so legit. So I'm really happy with the way the SPC is turning out. The epoxy is awesome except for the spider. But I'll take you on upstairs and show you kind of the rest of the progress. All right, guys. So basically everything else we did upstairs is we slammed out this floor, um, cut it in around all the cabinets, reinstalled the oven and the uh, refrigerator. But also, while I was uh, out of town last week, is Keith and some of the guys, they, they painted a lot of the walls. We got, like I said, we got this French gray that was, uh, we got it at a discount because it was left over from an apartment complex where they bought too much. They've painted almost everything upstairs. I think there's a couple bedrooms left. And then we got to reinstall the doors and uh, put the covers back on all the receptacles and stuff and bring the carpet lady in. And uh, the upstairs is done. And downstairs is almost that close too, as soon as we wrap up a few things on the cabinet. So this thing's about done. If it wasn't for World of Concrete, I'd probably be done with everything next week. So it'll probably be the last week of January. This sucker will hit the market and fingers crossed we've done enough to uh, outperform the market a little bit, get it sold fast. Um, you know, things are still moving pretty good in our market, but um, I like to try to kind of up it to, you know, beat out the competition. So, um, guys, that's everything. I think this Saturday, right before we leave for World of Concrete, uh, me and Billy Good are gonna do a Zoom together with Let's Dig to kind of get his pool ready to dig. Me and Eric have drawn up a whole bunch of cool drawings for him. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna shoot that in the next day or so. so 
I know you guys watch his channel and Let's Digs a lot, so uh, that's going to be pretty cool to get his project off to the right, uh, off on the right foot. So, uh, and he's actually going to be out at World of Concrete with me. So look for us uh, to be messing around with some YouTube shorts and stuff. I will see you guys Saturday.